what's going on everybody another ride home review for this week and this week I'm going to be talking about Fantastic Beast the Crimes of Grindelwald which stars uh, Eddie Redmayne um, Jude Law Johnny Depp Catherine Waterston uh, a lot of the cast from the previous uh, Fantastic Beasts uh, and directed by David Yates but before I get into that remember don't forget to subscribe to ride home reviews on YouTube follow on Instagram like on Facebook and so on also my anchor channel if you choose to just hear the audio um, and want to listen to that so the synopsis of the film basically is it takes place uh, uh, not quite immediately after the first Fantastic Beasts film but it follows um, if you saw that movie um, spoiler alert Johnny Depp is the bad guy um, and so they follow him and trying to, because they're trying to locate uh, another being of immense magical power named Credence and what he means to the wizarding world and also what the backstory is between a Dumbledore um, and Grindelwald. Um, what I liked about the film, um, once again, they do a wonderful job with the effects. Uh, of course, they do a wonderful job with the art direction and the production design of creating this this world of magic in uh, um, the late 20s. Um, it was cool to see Hogwarts and some of those aspects to the film to have a touch back to the old, to the Harry Potter uh, sets of films. It was nice to see all of that and it had a great cast um, uh, I forgot about mentioning Ezra Miller as Credence um, and so so yeah and so therefore it continues this this story of early 20th century magic um, what I didn't like about the movie was like the first one it was just a plotting uh, very slow um, just lack of character real character development um, and you know and some of the humor I mean there were some humorous parts to it but not it still didn't have that Harry Potter touch um, of the original series and it didn't it's a little grim it's almost like the DC Universe version of the Harry Potter films where it's just grim and dark and um, all the time and it's just I don't know um, I just felt it just once again even with the cast it had did not have the punch um, and that storytelling ability I mean I don't know if it means that David Yates needs to go I mean this movie did leave off on a cliffhanger so there will be another one of these um, but I'm just not sure that it's a strong enough Right now, the first two I've not been impressed with, at least story-wise. And so, it's cool to see some of the creatures. It's cool to see some of the sets and some of the things that is, are going on. The opening scene is pretty sweet. Um, so, seeing it on the big screen, if necessary, yeah. But, I mean, I don't know. These, these Fantastic Beast movies really are lacking some of the magic, no pun intended, of the... Harry Potter series and it's really disappointing because like I said they're bringing in a great cast and that has a lot of accolades to it and a lot of punch but the story isn't isn't adding up to it and the pacing is just terrible um it's just really dull um so there you have it um as for my recommendation I'm not gonna you know, I know that I've seen the second one in a row, but yeah, these are these are tough. Anyway, that's my that's my story. I'm sticking to it. So remember, subscribe on YouTube, like on Facebook, follow on Instagram. Until next week, watch on.